Hey guys, imagine with me if you will, the color red. Simple as can be, just the color red. You think of the color red, we all think of the same thing, a cherry, a strawberry, or the first color of the rainbow. We know that all color does not exist in the physical world. It is merely just a concept that our brain uses to wrap around the things we see so that we can distinguish among different objects. But what if the color red isn't really the color red? We've just both been taught since kindergarten to distinguish it as the color red because we have those flashcards that tell us this one's red, this one's green. What if our brain really can distinguish between the different colors, but the way I see it isn't the same way you see it? Take for instance two people and put them in the field. They'll notice different things very quickly and their eyes will react differently to different colors. They'll will associate different colors with different emotions. But what causes us to see things differently? I know that I don't see the things the exact same way you do, and some of us see things the same way, some of us don't. But why does that happen? Let's take a look at the human eye. The human eye is a very complex piece of our anatomy, and is even more advanced than our most advanced cameras are. Inside the human eye, there are three photoreceptors, one that accepts red light, one that accepts green light, and one that accepts yellow light. Now, each of these photoreceptors help us translate the white light that we see into different colors. And they are all very important to us because every color that we know is made up somewhat of red, yellow, and green. For most people, these photoreceptors are in a specific order, which help us see the spectrum as we know it. Some of us, however, have different photoreceptors in different places, which cause us to see the colors differently than others. Many people are even missing a photoreceptor. This is known as color blindness. If they're missing, say, the red photoreceptor, they cannot see variations of the color red. If they're missing more than one photoreceptor, they may not be able to see many different colors in our spectrum, and their brain compensates and tells them that the color is gray. If someone is missing every photoreceptor, they are completely blind. Gray, black, and white are made up of colors, and if they don't have any of the photoreceptors, they have no way to distinguish among the colors, therefore, they can't see anything. With today's technology, glasses have been made with built-in photoreceptors to help colorblind people see color. By extension, if someone was missing all the photoreceptors and was completely blind, if they got a pair of glasses with all the photoreceptors built into them, they could potentially see again. Now, this wouldn't be the case if someone was blind because of disease or natural causes, but if photoreceptors is their problem, they can see again. Regardless of the colors we can see or the colors others can see, I look forward with anticipation to the future where we will learn more and brighter ways to see and experience the color around us.